Well guys, I just wanted to grab the cam because um, Jack, this is after the live stream and Jack has only just come down from up there and decided he wanted to change spots, I guess. But I just wanted to get um, him in just so you could just see he's a big fella. Not as big as some, but he's still a big boy, my Jack. Don't know what he or thinks he's going to do there. What are you doing, dude? I don't really want you going in behind there, if that might be okay with you. I know Mum moved it, and um, you're thinking, well, I could, I could probably fit in there, but you can't. You're bigger than what you think you are these days, dude. My battery is flashing. I know that Jack needs the loo. Uh, he does, so I, I'm not going to video him outside because I, um, I certainly won't be keeping him out there. It's got to be like 40 Celsius today. Honestly, I was doing my live stream and I was in just a complete lather of sweat. And uh, yeah, it was... No, and I had the air conditioning on. But you know, up here, which is where Jack was snoozing up there, it's so warm, like I can feel the heat. And I'm touching this ceiling and it is stinking hot. And a lot of it is a, um, what's the word? Insulated, it has insulation. But I couldn't get right down in here because it was so skinny. So it is boiling and I think Jack actually wants to go home. It's probably cooler inside of his enclosure than it is outside of his enclosure right now. Uh, I mean I'm up here and I'm hot. Like my goodness. So I, I know why they like it up there because it, it is nice and warm actually. I often worry but I do know that up high here is just wonderful. I keep a really good good eye on their temperatures um, and I've got to have the air conditioning going. Uh, let me go on over very quickly. Um, I am going to, why, like I said, I, I really need to get Jack outside, dude. You need to go to the loo, don't you? Um, Tess. Full belly, or oh, you can see is the cam because the light's there. There she is. If I go down this way, got a full, full belly, don't you, Tessa? Hey, what is your temperature? Look, you can feel the heat, and that's not even her warm end. That's the cruel end. So what I'm actually going to do right now is flip this up. So that cool air, and I haven't had the fan on, which doesn't rotate any of this air, because Jack was up there and I, for now, I didn't want him climbing out onto this other piece and, you know, what could happen. And I certainly don't want that to happen. I'm very, very mindful of the fans uh, being on. So where are you going to go, dude? I know you're saying, Mom, uh, I need to go to the loo. I always say, guys, I could watch my guys, my snakes, my guys, guys. I could watch my guys, <laughs> meaning my snakes, all day long. Honestly, and I do. I, I pretty much do um, do that. And you think, what else do you do with your day gay? Mm, bits. Bits and pieces. But it does kind of revolve around what my snakes are needing every day. Hey, Jack. Hey. Are you thirsty today? Are you thirsty boy today? It's pretty hot. What do you think? Hey, 
be hot? Probably is, I would say. So guys, this is just a very, very brief video of Jack out. Um, look at that midriff. Look at this midriff boy -o. Hey? Touch my belly and call me chubby. He's getting chubbier. Nicely chubbier. That's all. And I did find out having some photos taken of him and showing a person who knows their coastals quite well and the areas and localities of them that Jack is from the Proserpine area which is the Whitsundays. Um, they tend to be that biscuity colour with the yellow in them and that is certainly uh, Jack. So it was really good to be able to find out um, that he is a pure coastal but his locality is from the Proserpine area. So there you go, just a little bit of more information about Jack and the guy is also currently breeding or going to be breeding pure coastal carpet pythons here and has all the information on them to prove that they are and that is incredible because like I said they're few and far between but that is his main project this year or next year I think he said not even this coming season it'll be the following season breeding season he is going to be pairing and breeding so that I will keep you updated on um, because I am so interested myself in these um, these snakes having babies. It will be truly wonderful uh, when they're born. And I guarantee you they won't be cheap either. So good project, good breeding project. More pure lines. That's what we want to see. So guys, I'm going to finish off and always take care of yourself, your family and of course these beautiful, beautiful snakes or your dogs, cats, you know what I mean. Ciao.